Hey guys, my name is Faith and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my very first video and today I'm going to be talking all about my favorites for the month of January for 2018 and this is going to encompass a little bit of beauty and a little bit of lifestyle. Um, so thanks for, for joining me and let's just jump right on in. The very first product I want to talk about is the Eco Tools brush. This is the Precision, yeah, the Skin Perfecting Brush. Eco Tools um, recently has redone their entire brush line and in my opinion made them much better. It's very sturdy compared to the other ones. I had some of their old brushes and they kind of fell apart very quickly. This brush, oh my gosh, it's so dang good. The bristles, they're super soft. They're very dense packed so you get very very precise application I like to use this brush for my base layer so my foundation or my BB creams and it just applies product perfectly evenly you can buff with this brush um, I, I just love it there's no negatives that I can say about it it performs in my opinion like a high-end brush would um, like a 30 or 40 dollar brush but it's like seven bucks so highly recommend i can't wait to get my hands on more of this eco tools line i just i can't get enough i love it love 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 so let's talk about another tool favorite <laughs> you're gonna laugh but everyone needs tweezers right um these tweezers are from etude house etude house i didn't know about until about a month ago i just moved to korea about a month ago and this I mean, Etude House is all over the place. It's a huge skincare and beauty store, um, kind of like a MAC or like a freestanding, like Makeup Forever or something like that. Um, but what's funny is that I almost bought an identical pair of tweezers from Anastasia Beverly Hills for like 18 bucks. This was 2,000 won. So 1,000 won currently is equivalent to like point. 94 US dollars, so slightly under a buck. So this was less than two dollars. I have never had a pair of tweezers that are as good as this pair. They are so precise. You can get the teeniest hairs. My husband loves these tweezers because when he has ingrown hairs, I mean, he's able to get them first try, no problem. Whereas sometimes with other tweezers, it can sometimes be a struggle for that kind of thing. So the Etude House tweezers, oh my gosh amazing and great value for money holy cow i love these i'm going to be getting all of my friends and family some too and i'm pretty sure you can buy them on amazon um if you can i will link them in the description box below best decision ever it's like again like two bucks so good so worth it okay so next up i want to talk to you about something not so cheap um it's the c firma day serum from drunk elephant this product has single-handedly changed my skin for the better I'm obsessed with this stuff. This is like my second or third bottle of it. I use it religiously. I can tell a difference when I'm not using it. What the C Firma Day Serum does, it's obviously used um, or infused with vitamin C. And vitamin C is known to brighten up the skin. Um, dull skin is like rejuvenated. It can help out with dark circles or dark spots on the face and also help out with hyperpigmentation and just unevenness of the skin. I have seen that to be true for all of those things. I mean, my skin, it just looks so much smoother, softer, and more even in complexion when I use the Drunk Elephant Sea Firma. Um, one thing to note with this serum is that if you're gonna use it, please make sure to use a, um, an SPF on top. It can be in your foundation, it can be you know, your next step in your skincare, but because the vitamin C that's in here is such, I mean, it's an active ingredient, if vitamin C goes outside into the sun, um, you will burn, and it's going to ruin your skin um, over time, especially because you're gonna wanna use this every single day, so please just make sure to use an SPF. Um, other than that, man, literally, like, <laughs> such a good investment. I'm not one to spend $80 on a skincare product, but um, I, will I will consistently do it for Drunk Elephant. They're awesome. And the name. And the packaging. Oh my gosh. Can we talk about the packaging? Another thing I almost forgot to talk about was um, with uh, vitamin C serums, it's really unstable. So what they did um, with the Drunk Elephant is make the packaging airtight. So you see this top 
it twists open, which is genius because you're never going to get direct sunlight to hit the actual product. Um, the shelf life of this is really short. I think it's about six months, so make sure you do use it every day to get your money's worth. When it starts to change color and get dark, like a dark orange, throw it out, it's gone bad. So just make sure to use this up quickly because the active ingredient, I mean, it's only active for so long, you know? All right. On to the next item. <laughs> Let's talk about lips. The uh, Sugar Lip Polish by Fresh. This is the best lip scrub I think I've used to date. It's insane. I mean, it's not very oily, which is a good thing for me because I have um, combination oily skin. And the last thing I want to do is put like an oily lip scrub around my mouth and get like teeny little breakouts. Like that is just not cute. It's not doing anybody any favors. Um, so this doesn't have that. But it does have like granules of sugar that you can actually see. It smells like a sugar cookie. I mean, it's so dang good. Um, but it just exfoliates your lips in the most gentle way possible. Uh, it's just, it's so good. It'll slosh off all of that dead skin on your lips, which is great for this time of year, it being so cold, and most of us have really chapped lips. So before you go in with your lip product of the day, love this stuff, highly, highly recommend. All right, so for the next product, I want to talk about Dr. Jart. So Dr. Jart might be a K-Beauty brand, but I've known about them for years now. I've actually been using their BB cream Disappoor for like two or three years on and off, not consistently. Um, and this year for um, the Christmas uh, holiday season, they had the set and it was four minis. And I was like, okay, perfect. Time to try all of the, you know, BB creams that Dr. Jart has to offer it. Obviously a reduced price. So that's what I did. Um, I got these four. It came with the premium BB balm. My sister raves about this stuff. She loves it. I didn't like it so much. The tint of it didn't really match up my, with my skin tone. It was a little dark for me. Maybe I'll like it in the warmer months. We'll see. Um, but it was good. It was definitely good. Um, and then the Radiance Beauty Balm. I love this for mixing with other foundations. It's a little too sheer for me. It does give you that glowy dew that a lot of us are looking for. But for me, I have combination oily skin and I don't want to add more oil to the oil. You know what I mean? Um, but I do like to add it to my thicker foundations. And it does give just like the most luminous glow. I really, really enjoy that guy. Um, this one's the Black Label Detox Beauty Balm. Truth be told, I haven't tried this one yet, so um, I can't really give you my recommendation, but when I do try it, I will let you know for sure. But um, still, the Disappoor is my favorite. By far my favorite, and let me tell you why. So the Disappoor Beauty Balm by Do Dr. Jart, gosh, I, I have acne-prone skin, sensitive acne-prone skin. I have dealt with acne for my entire life. If you knew me when I was a teenager, I'm really sorry that you had to, like, see that every single day. <laughs> it was really, really bad. I mean, to the point where, like, I was on Accutane, and I would cry myself to sleep <laughs> every single night just because, you know, it's just not something that anybody needs to go through emotionally. And, of course, at that age, like, all you care about is your appearance and what you look like and when you don't like what you look in the when you don't like what you see in the mirror um it's such a volatile age you know it's it's tough it's really really tough so anyway very very um personal right there but um with all that being said i'm very um sensitive when it comes to my skin i've never had good skin even now i suffer from some like uh, pitting from my acne and also a ton of scarring and for somebody to tell me that my skin looks good <laughs> especially a stranger that's a huge deal like that does not happen to me like ever every single time i wear this bb cream somebody comes up to me and is like oh my gosh your skin looks amazing what are you wearing I'm like what? Like me? I have good skin. So believe me, if I can say it, like if you don't have the best skin, you should definitely try this out. Or even if you have great skin, I mean, it'll just perfect your skin even more and look like you have an Insta filter at all times. And who doesn't want that? <laughs> um, but I like to use it on its own. I like to use it for days where I'm not even really wearing makeup, just running outside because it does have an SPF of 30. It is skincare as well. Um, so I just put that on my face after my C -Firm a Day Serum and I'm out the door. My skin is protected and it is just looking much more flawless than it did before. Um, some other options for that BB cream would be 
to, if you don't have very good skin and you need a little bit more coverage, it is thick in consistency and it does provide a lot of coverage. But you can always put that as your first layer as a base, kind of like a primer. It'll fill in your pores and then on top of that you can go in with your foundation, which is a trick that I like to do, especially when I'm having problem areas in my skin. So check it out. Let me know how you like it in the comment section below if you've tried it or like if you're going to try it, please reach out to me and let me know because it really did save me for a few times with my skin. So thank you so much, Dr. Chart. All right, moving on to some more makeup. I want to talk about the Ambient Palette. Um, this guy right here is very, very loved in the beauty community. It's got three different shades in it. Let's see. It's got Dim Light, Incandescent Light, and Radiant Light. They look like this. I'm not very good at this yet. I'll, I'll get better, I promise. But yeah, they look like this. And um, I obviously love this middle shade. I use it all over the face just to set my makeup, especially when it's um, colder outside because it do does give quite the radiant finish without adding for me at least, to make it look like I'm greasy. Um, it just looks really, really natural. I love the darker shade in there to top on top of my bronzer. Um, it's a little too dark for me right now to use all over my face, but I do love to top it off of my bronzer. And then the other shade in there, I actually like to top off on my blush. So um, just, it's so, such a versatile palette. I love it so much and it might be expensive. I think it goes up by a few dollars every single year too, but um, I've had it forever and it's highly worth the investment. There's really nothing like the ambient powders. They are so finely milled and just like so beautiful to the touch and on the skin. Oh, I love them <laughs> and you should too. I mean, it's really good stuff. So check it out. Okay, um, let's move to blush. So I do not know what took me so dang long to try this Tarte Amazonian blushes. Um, I got this one for my birthday from Sephora as the like free Sephora gift. And this is in the shade Party. And oh my gosh, it's just... It doesn't even look like anything when I put it on my hand or when I swatch it. But on the face, this is what I'm wearing today. It just built up so perfectly. You can't overdo it with this blush, which is something I really appreciate. I'm not very good when it comes to blush. Um, I, I'm not a makeup artist. I've learned everything that I know when it comes to makeup off of watching YouTube videos. And my friend Neelam, who is super talented when it comes to makeup. She did my wedding makeup and um, I'll actually link her blog or her um, Instagram down below because she is incredibly talented. But I have learned everything from those two sources and um, I'm not that good. <laughs> I'm trying to get better, but this blush makes it foolproof. I mean, you can't do too much. So highly recommend this guy and all of the other, um, the other, I was gonna say flavors. Faith, get it together. <laughs> All the other shades are great too, so I'm probably going to pick up a few more. This is wonderful. Um, the next product that I want to talk about is going to be an eyeshadow palette. This is the 6 p.m. palette from Vizart. Um, I think it's Vizart. It's either Vizart or Viziart. Correct me if I'm wrong, um, but honestly, I don't think I'm ever going to buy another eyeshadow um, palette ever again. I want to get the 12 pan in the 01 neutrals. These these eyeshadows, it's expensive. It was $45 for this six, um, six pan, and I think it's $80 for the 12 pan. So it's a lot of money when it comes to eyeshadow, but you get a lot of um, product for the value. Um, these wells, like these pans, are very deep. I don't know how much they are specifically. I can put it in the description box below if you're interested. But um, gosh, I love it so much. It just, the blendability of the Ziart shadows is insane. It makes, I was just saying like, I'm not a makeup artist whatsoever and I don't know what I'm doing, but when I use Viseart eyeshadows, it makes it look like I kind of know what I'm doing. I mean, they're that good that they make an amateur um, look not like an amateur, if you know what I'm saying. Like the blendability, the pigmentation, um, everything that you want in an eyeshadow, Viseart has done with this formula. Highly recommend. I want more. <laughs> I really do. They're so, so good. Expensive, but really good. Speaking of expensive, <laughs> um, let's talk about lip gloss. I am wearing this today. It is the Marc Jacobs Enamored High Shine Lip Gloss in Pretty Thing. I have a few of these. Um, this is my most recent purchase. I love this gloss. I know that people talk about it a lot. I know it's hyped up, but it's for a reason. It's not sticky. It has good pigmentation if that's what you want. 
it's super high shine. I mean, if I'm going to wear a lip gloss, I want it to be really shiny. Like, I don't want just, like, a, a little bit of shine. Like, if I'm going to go, if I'm going to go for it, I'm going to go for it. You know what I mean? And, man, it's just the best. It's minty. Ugh. It's so, I, I don't know how to describe it, like, my favorite lip gloss of all time, for sure, for sure. Okay, let's talk about something that's not so expensive, and also something that is not hyped, hyped up, and I am talking about the Maybelline Colossal Volume Mascara. Um, excuse, like, all the rubbing that's happening, like, it's basically, like, I need a new one. <laughs> this is the waterproof version. Um, I forgot to grab my normal version, but I have both the normal and the waterproof. And this is the best mascara I have ever used in my entire life. I was introduced to, to this mascara from a family friend who used to be a model. Um, and this was when I was like 15. So I'm 27 now. So 12 years ago, I've been using this mascara. I have purchase this over and over and over again. There is not another mascara on the market that does what this does for my lashes. It's very, very lengthening. It gives a little bit of volume, but not too much. It separates the lashes beautifully. And if you're going for the waterproof one, like if you're going to do something where either like you're afraid you're going to cry, like a sad movie or something, or um, you're going to be in the water and you want to wear mascara, um, the waterproof one is not going to budge. It's not going to go anywhere. Your lashes are going to look like they're fake and it's going to look amazing all day long. Um, I love it. It's what I'm wearing today. Nine out of ten times I am wearing this mascara. I think it's like six or seven dollars at the drugstore. You can't beat it. And I don't know why nobody's talking about it. Like, people, wake up. <laughs> wear it like try this just try it please let me know how you like it best I mean I've been using it for 12 years for a reason right so good um anyway so that is all for the beauty so let's get into some lifestyle favorites and then we'll wrap this thing up um for my first lifestyle favorite I want to talk about my Mr. Coffee French Press <laughs> I'm not going to show it to you for too long because it is dirty because I used it today and I drank all of the coffee um but man we've had it sitting in our closet for like three years with the tags still on the inside and I don't know why we never busted it out. It's amazing. I mean, it just makes like not great tasting coffee taste really, really good. Highly, highly recommend. We can't get enough of the French press and it's so simple to use and coffee is ready in like four minutes. I mean, is there anything better? <laughs> I don't think so. Um, okay, so for the next thing, let's talk about some shoes. If you have never heard of bean boots, gosh, I don't, I don't know what rock you're hiding under. <laughs> um, I got these like three years ago and I never really had to wear them um, or use them before because we used to live in a climate that was very hot. Now um, we live in South Korea and it is cold. It is like the freaking Arctic tundra here. I mean, I think it was like negative 15 with a wind chill the other day. Like, no joke. Our phones were like blasting uh, with emergency alerts because it was too cold for people to be outside for prolonged periods of time. I mean, it's cold. And I have really bad circulation in my fingertips and in my toes. And I haven't had a single issue. I've been wearing these almost every single day. Um, these are the more expensive kind. I think there's three different versions, the base model, the medium, and then these. These are um, shearling lined all the way. So are super, super warm, super comfortable and cozy. One thing I will say about these is that um, they run big. So I'm a size six naturally. Size six is the smallest size that they have. So these are a little big on me. I just tighten up the laces real tight and I wear like two pairs of socks with them and generally that's I mean I'm good to go. Another thing I do want to say about L.L. Bean I feel like they're so underrated um, but it is if you're into this kind of thing and I am it is an American brand um, and they're all American made hand stitched hand crafted um, by artisans and um, I think that that's really special, especially for this day and age when most things are on a production line um, and most things that are handcrafted are astronomically expensive. You can get these things, the, the most expensive ones, for $220. Um, and generally, you can find coupons online. And you can use Ebates, which makes it even less expensive. I'll link to my Ebates below. It's so, so good. I can talk about that in another video. But um, yeah, LL Bean Boots for the win, man you guys really did it. <laughs> like, you really, really did it with those boots. Sorry guys, my battery died. <laughs> 
first timer right here, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but anyway, I think we we're about to start talking about my Adidas Climacool Terex water shoes. These guys are probably my favorite favorite of all of January. I have a pair, my husband has a pair, and these are probably my favorite for three reasons. So we went to the Philippines for a trip, um, for a few night trip earlier this month. Super, super thankful to have done that. Uh, but a girlfriend of mine who had been there before recommended us get these shoes. And I was like, what's the big deal? I don't understand. I understand. They're like a three in one. So you can wear them to the airport or coming home, which saves space in your luggage because they're actually like pretty fashionable and kind of cute. Secondly, you can wear them for water shoes. You're going to have to have water shoes anyway, so you might as well bring your own and save some money and actually get some that you're going to use. Um, they're completely perforated. If water comes in, they just come out the other side. You can probably see some of the holes here and then they come down to the bottom. Um, they're really, really lightweight too, so it makes it really nice to have as a water shoe but they're very functional when it comes to like climbing or walking around as well so for example there was this one time when we were literally climbing up some pretty rigorous terrain and then two seconds later we were jumping in a lagoon and we were able to use these for the hike and for the swim so super versatile really really lightweight um, worth the investment. I think they were like 50 bucks. So, so worth it. I love these guys. So thank you, Morgan, for the suggestion. Oh my gosh. Go get you some. <laughs> Um, okay, so for my next favorite, second to last here, it's going to be something else that we used for um, our trip to the Philippines. It's this dry bag. My sister-in-law got this for me for Christmas. Thank you, Jill. Um, it was a little smaller for two people than we would have probably liked. We'll probably get a second one of these for our next trip, so we each have one. But it really did the job. I mean, oh, eh, eh, it's happening. <laughs> Anyway, um, it really, really did the job. All of our stuff stayed dry, hence a dry bag. We put like our money in here, our cell phones, and you just fold it up three times and then clip it together and voila, your stuff is dry. Um, I am going to put a little shameless plug in here. Um, I do have a blog and that's going to be where all of our traveling adventures are. And if you want to learn or follow us, um, around Southeast Asia and some of our traveling tips and tricks, you can check out my blog. It's called BlondeYouAdoo.com and all of my socials are BlondeYouAdoo for that as well. So I just figured I'd share that with you guys in case you're interested. Thanks. <laughs> okay, last thing. Um, we're going to talk about a hat. I'm not a hat person. I never have been, but I'm obsessed with this thing. It's a beanie. I got it from Nordstrom. It was only 15 bucks. It's by their brand, BP, which I love. I think this little faux fur pom-pom up top is so dang cute, and it just really has kept me super, super warm. We are in Korea, like I said before, and man, it's really cold here, and to make matters worse, I have an industrial piercing, which is just through the ear. It's a bar that goes through your ear. And that thing is like a freaking conductor of all that is cold just into your body. I mean, it really, really exaggerates how cold it is outside. I mean, it makes your ear feel like it's going to dang fall off. It is horrible. And I forgot about it because I used to have an industrial when I was younger. Took it out when I worked at a corporate job. And then when we moved to Korea, I got it again. And man, it's cold. So this hat's really been saving my butt. <laughs> all right, guys. So that is it. Those are all of my favorites for the month of January. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already <laughs> and like this video for some more content coming to you soon. And yeah, until then, I will talk to you later. Bye.